7.30 p.m. train in from L.A. last night, which was empty, and then got in at 1.30 or 2, uh, went to bed and then woke up, and so I'm here. Uh, uh, but, but yeah, I love, I love Comic-Con. I love seeing the fans. I love seeing, I love seeing these guys uh, uh, be stars. Yeah, it's really fun. What do you say about the first episode? Imagine it. Right? Yeah. It, 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 uh, no, you know, we, it, it, it's definitely the, our tribute episode to Luke and to, and to Fred. And, uh, it's a, it's a kind of a standalone episode. Um, it, 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 it's almost like a prologue to the rest of the season. Um, it, it happens, it, it's set on July 4th. And, you know, we, we spent a long time thinking about what was the best way to honor Fred and to honor Luke. And, and uh, we wanted to tell kind of a really simple emotional story. The focus is, a lot of it is on Archie, obviously. And, you know, we had the table read. And I'd never been part of a table read that was like that. Um, you know, I, I had, had, when I first heard about Luke, um, it did, I heard in the morning and it really hit me that night. And I got really emotional. And then when we were doing the table read, we were all sort of together for the first time talking about it. Um, you know, because we shut down production. When I went up right after that, there was one stage that, you know, Cammy and KJ were shooting on one stage and Lily was shooting on the other stage. So it was the first time we were all together kind of really talking about it and it was uh, it was powerful. It was really powerful. Does this mean will we see more of Molly Ring? Yes, we will see more Molly Ring. Molly, Molly's great. She uh, always happy to have her in Riverdale, and she actually, when all that, when when Luke passed, she was already scheduled to be in an episode. So she was up there when I went up there, and and most of all the stuff, her all her stuff was with either Luke or KJ, and she was emotional, and and, and Luke really welcomed Molly as he welcomed welcomed everyone. And uh, she said, you know, please don't bring in Archie's uncle. Like, please let me be his mom. And I was like, oh, Molly, we're here for it. You know, so I'm really, really thrilled that she's going to be spending time with us. Talk about what the general, like, overall theme of this is. Yeah, I think that, you know, it's fun. The, 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 the overall theme, I think, is a senior year. Um, you know, the kids are seniors this year. We, we so rarely focus on high school stuff because there's usually running uh, speakeasies or, or tracking down serial killers or being kidnapped by cults or, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, going into juvenile uh, detention center. So it's like, this is it. This is like, after this year, we're, they're not going to be high school students. So we're like, we better get in as much high school stuff as we can. So, and it, and it, and it adds a sort of um, poignancy to the season. You know, this is kind of, you know, you, you make friends in high school and then usually at graduation, you do go your separate ways. Some go to college, some go to different colleges, some get jobs, some move away, some go into the military. So the idea that this group of people uh, who's been together for four years, some longer than that, uh, that this could be the la their last first day of school, their last prom, their last football game, uh, I think adds a real... Um, Melancholy, bittersweet. It's a bittersweet uh, uh, feeling, which uh, which I think is the big theme of the season. You guys are going to do another musical episode this year. Yes. Do you have any ideas for what you want? You know, a lot of people have been suggesting them. Um, it, n not not really. I mean, we usually do it in the second half of the season, and it, it, it's tricky because we've got to find the right musical that has the right kinds of songs and that fits in with whatever stories we're telling. So, um, and you know, it's funny. We, um, you know, we did Carrie, and that was a musical that I loved, and I was excited to do. And when we were looking for other musicals to do, we were struggling with it. And then one of the writers said, you know, you know, there's a Heather's musical. And I was like, yeah, you know, I never saw it. And, you know, they, I, I bought the album on iTunes and then spent like two days listening to it. And I was like, wow, this is really great. So so it has to be like that. But the, but the goal for sure is to do another musical. I think it'd be fun. Um, so Carrie is 
your favorite? Well, no, you know, it's funny. I thought we really set the bar high with Carrie, but in a weird way, I think Heather's topped it. Um, um, you know, and, and what was nice is both Carrie and Heather's was set in high school. Both those stories were set in high school. So the songs were written for teenagers and they were about teen angst. So that was what, what was really happy. I guess, you know, when I think about that, it's like maybe, you know, I know Mean Girls is on Broadway and and there are other high school musicals that, 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 that like that that we could look at. I thought, I love them both, actually. Yeah. Okay. Upcoming seasons, do we see them in college? I mean, is that... You know, that's, a, that's a really good question. Um, you mean in season five? Yeah. You know, we've talked about that. We've talked about that option. I mean, it's it's funny. Not not that you know Riverdale is reality, right? But but the but but you know the 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 the, the logical thing is they probably go to different colleges. Some would go to community college. Right. Some might stay in Riverdale. Uh, uh, but they, they'd be kind of scattered. So we we've, we've started to have conversations about that a little bit. But I think right now the focus is on on launching season four. Right. Uh, uh, but I guess anything's possible. What kind of threats they are dealing with? The, 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 yeah, there's there's always a there's always going to be a mystery or a, or a, a noir or a pulp uh, crime element to it, uh, and and there is you know in the finale we did a flash forward, yeah. um, and uh, the first half of the season is going to be kind of like uh, building up to that evening and the events of that evening. And we're going to um, uh, almost every episode end with another flash forward that fills in another piece of that mystery. Um, but but you know we usually do two or three mysteries, uh, and we're doing the same same here. I will say though that unlike season two, which had the black hood as a serial killer, and and last year that had well the black hood and the gargoyle king uh, uh, as as killers, we're kind of going back a little bit to season one, which was there was. A mystery to unfold, but it wasn't like every episode someone might die. So we can tell a little bit more character stories or more emotional stories. But there will be mysteries for sure. Thank you.